I have been a fan of the Chicago Cubs since I was born. The Cubs and White Sox rivalry has been going on since baseball started. There's so much going on right now in this rivalry. When they play together in a game, it kind of just gets fun, competitive, because it's just a crosstown thing. Dialysis is not fun. I found out because it like drains my energy. The process is that since both my kidneys were failed, the dialysis machine will, I had to go three days a week because it needs to clean my blood that my kidneys can't. I made this pretty sign. I messaged the media to see if they could help me. It's the media for the Cubs. My brother and I went. Prior to the game starting, I got tapped on the shoulder and it was one of the girls for the Cubs media team. And she said, we would like to take a few pictures of you with your sign and put you on the Jumbotron. She was all like, we're gonna post these to the Cubs media. And I was like, okay, awesome. Like, I'm like, just like overwhelmed. The number I actually put on my sign is a Google Voice number. So not all of Wrigley Field had my phone number. The phone started blowing up. To Brian. No more runs. Brian is it enough? It's good! I just remember I was looking on my phone and I saw the Chicago Cubs media post. When I saw it, I ended up texting the number right away. We went and we started initial testing, blood work, height, weight, kind of the basic things to make sure everything was okay. It was like super soon and I'm like in my head like, wow, that's cool. The numbers just sent like a Captain America GIF. So it was just known as the Captain America GIF person. In my head, I'm like, what? It's a lot of testing that has to be done to be a kidney donor. And so to just have like two tests left and a meeting with doctors, that's awesome. Since then, she gave me her actual real number. We've been in touch ever since. And then we met a couple weeks before the surgery. I met her and her brother out for lunch. We ate outside and that's where she ended up telling me like where she was and kind of giving me the full story of everything that she was going through. And it just kind of confirmed everything for me. Our transplants went by well. We both recovered quickly. We were just sore, but we did recover quickly. Honestly, I, it felt really normal. I always like tell people like I didn't do much. I went to sleep and I woke up. Hey Bridget, this is Ian Happ. So happy to hear about your successful kidney transplant. It's awesome. So happy for you. Let's celebrate it really next year, all right? Hi, Thomas.
Hey, what's going on? Thank you for giving me your kidney. Oh, <laughs> no problem. Would you become a Cubs fan now, or are you still no. staying a Sox? Not, not happening. <laughs> what were you thinking when you saw the post of my sign? I had a best friend who died from cancer in high school, and he dealt with it for like seven years. Mm -hmm. But I think I, I can't understand what it feels like to be helpless. Mm -hmm. So, you know. So, just kind of for it. and I thank you for that <laughs> so much. Has this changed your outlook at all on like anything? I was slightly depressed on dialysis just because you're so tired. I would do like one day of work on a dialysis day at the gym and I'd be so exhausted. So I already was optimistic on dialysis. Now my optimism and happiness is to like attack so It's just crazy how like the like month or so that we went through it like changed 2020. Like if honestly if like we didn't have like this, I don't know what I could have hung my hat on for this year. <laughs> like I, I had COVID. I I lost my job. I wasn't able to. I'm not able to find work in my career right now. I'm like, well, I'd actually live this year over with because like the past couple months have just been worth it.